The first step in using the network analyzer for setup of the matching circuit on a MIFI antenna is to calibrate the device. You push C and you go and you get the calibration menu. So the first thing you do is you have an open circuit and you say OK and calibrates open. You then go and connect the short circuit onto the end of the cable and you go and calibrate short and there's calibrated your short. The last step in the calibration is to connect the 50 ohm load to the end of the cable and once that's connected you click on load and you say OK and now the device is calibrated. When you close this down, just as a sanity check, if you do a single sweep, you notice there that with the load on, it's exactly in the center of the Smith chart. And this channel here is just showing you the noise. This is zero dB and it's 10 dB per scale. So we've got minus 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, minus 70 dB of noise, which is a very low level of noise. If we took the load off and now we've got an open and we do a single sweep, we notice that this point is on the right hand side of the Smith chart, meaning it's open circuit. And then the last thing that we would do is connect a short. And if we connect the short and we do a single sweep it moves to the left hand side. So now we're assured that the network analyzer is correctly calibrated. Once correctly calibrated, we then attach the antenna of interest and we do a single sweep. And we can see here this red line is showing you the antenna is mainly just an inductor, which is what we expect. And a zero dB here in the reflection basically means that all of the signal that was sent out is being reflected. There's no attenuation. If there's attenuation, we'd expect this blue line to be slightly lower. So the first value that we want to extract from this is the actual inductance. So we'll change this dB to an impedance and it will be the series inductance. To get the good inductance value, we take this marker and we move it all the way back to 1 megahertz. And we can see here we've got an inductance of 1.3 microhenry, which we must note down for further calculation. Once we've got the inductance value written down, we then move the marker to the center of the resonance, which is round about there. And you can see we've got a frequency, a resonant frequency of 53.7 megahertz, which we must write down as well. You can see over here 53.8, the inductance is very close to zero. Ideally, you want it to be exactly on zero, and that will give you the center of the resonant frequency. But 53.8 is fine for these resolution measurements. The last value that we have to measure is the real impedance of the antenna. So we'll go here and we right click on Smith and we go to impedance, real Z. And you can see over here, we want the real impedance at the frequency of interest, which is 13.56 meg. So we must take this and move it down, move it all the way back until we get to 13.56 meg. Let's just put it over there. Here we've got 13.6 meg. And the real impedance is 0.87 ohms. And that is the last value that we write down that's required for calculating the matching circuit of the MIFE antenna.